Somebody likes the dirt. What you doing, Jin Jin? Huh? You're back in Mississippi and it's hot. He's all red faced or sweating. And I've come out, a lot of my things have been going to go, uh, to go to seed. When I come back, you can see I've already stripped all the seeds off of these. So these are really kind of played out. I'm gonna put them in our compost. But I thought that was so funny. Jennings back there, he pulled one out and he's been sitting there playing in the dirt. Apparently he likes the dirt. That's okay because mama likes dirt too. So we're on the tail end of summer with it almost being August. And um, you can see that I'm just basically taking these containers. We're getting ready to prep for fall. And I'm just gonna chunk those basils that have basically played out in their full year. So I'm just taking them, pulling them up. We're gonna drop all that stuff in our compost. And um, I'm basically just starting to prep the greenhouse. I'm getting it ready to plant new things for fall. Oh no, buddy. Those are not the ones you can play with. Thank you so much. These are basil plants that I planted from... No, 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 man. No, no. Oh, well, this probably is not going to make it. Because he has found them. No, you can't play with those. No, no. Anyway, these are our basils that I have planted. Look how pretty those are from the seeds of the ones that I'm chunking now. So, um, great harvest. I mean, great um, plant from plant here. Now, very disappointed in my time. I've always had bad luck with time. Don't know what it is. I had three plants. One I dug up. Two I had bought. Uh, the one that I dug up started looking better than when the fall season came um, through the summer and just started doing awful looking terrible. So I'm really disappointed about that. Um, I guess time is just not for me. <laughs> It is getting a little late. The sun's starting to set. Um, we actually have I've worked today. I actually had to, to, to mow the grass. It looked kind of bad coming back from Michigan. We hadn't mowed in about a week because right before we, mow, we left, it rained. So I was not able to mow, but um, we're just trying to touch upon a few things after work that I had to do uh, once we got back from Michigan. We got back real late, so we're just trying to check in everything. Chickens are doing great. Elsa did great. She was so excited to see me this morning. She was jumping around like crazy. Um, Misty worked in the greenhouse a while ago, got some things done that needed to get done. Um, I'll kind of give you an update on um, some tomatoes and also the uh, the fall cucumbers, which, I mean, who grows fall cucumbers? We're going to try. Uh, and then also an update on the fall corn, and then we might have a chance to go look at the pumpkins. Uh, George and Peppa, they say hi. Um, if you're looking for a good hog, just a side note, American guinea hogs where it's at. Um, they're not huge like uh, some of these pigs. They're beautiful. Look at them. Hey, buddy. They're good hogs. I'm hoping they are. I'm hoping she is bred. Um, I think she's come in heat already, so I hope she is bred, and we're hoping to have some babies to make uh, sales and pork chops. Hey, buddy. He's a fat boy. He's gotten big. <laughs> they're not a big growing pig, so they're not going to get too much bigger than what they are now. So, but hey, they're do they're doing good. Um, let's go look at this stuff out here. We're going to grab the disc. I also had to put some cotton seed meal, I think, on our tomatoes. We we seem to have a little nitrogen deficiency in the um, the tomato hugoculture beds. Uh, those tomatoes are almost done, but we you know they still are producing fruit. But I think. They're yellowing pretty good, and I think it's just really because of, um, I really think it's just because of the lack of nitrogen. So, we've put a little cottonseed meal. If you are looking for alternatives to just pure fertilizer, cottonseed meal is a great, 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 great additive to um, your garden for nitrogen. So, that's what we add. Um, so far, it's done really good. We're going to add it to our corn again. We've added it once to our fall corn. Let's go look at that. That's what, I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. Misty cleaned out old Bessie. 
yesterday, or actually this, we got the stuff out of last night. She actually cleaned it up today. See, our garden is pretty much played out. We're just letting it kind of grow wild right now because there's not really anything left to grow so up for some marigolds. Tomatoes over here, my spring tomatoes are pretty much playing out. My pole beans, I'm oh, sorry guys, the sun is kind of bright. The pole beans are playing out. The okra was not worth a diddly squat this year. Sunflowers are playing out. But look at how pretty this fall corn is. Now I know all you people in the Midwest and all you people have all these fields that I just went by in Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, Missouri, Arkansas. Your corn's gorgeous and you know, all that good stuff. But it is starting to come up. Um, we've never planted fall corn, especially sweet corn. I've, I've never really heard a lot of people doing that around here, but we are going to try it. Um, you do see some people plant fall corn, but they're looking for a silage or something for cows. Um, who knows? I had the seed. Didn't cost me anything but a little time. So we're going to try it out see what happens. So watermelons over there looking good. Let's go look at our fall cucumbers. Again, I've never really heard anybody say fall cucumbers, but let's go look at our fall cucumbers. We moved the cows a while ago, too. You hear, uh, if you hear, I don't know if you can hear on there. Uh, Elsa's bellowing over there. She knows I'm outside. She, I just got home yesterday, this morning. She was like really excited to see me. She was jumping around. I actually told Aiden I had to stay out for a little bit just because she was so excited. I'm scared she was going to hurt him. All right, let's look at these cucumbers. Look how awesome these are. Bam, look at that. These are actually growing better than our spring. They're growing quicker. I don't know if you can see them no fertilizer just retail some of that and i have to till around these today well i, I doubt i get it to today but i gotta till around these soon just to get the grass away from it but they're looking good like i said um, around here um you know it stays pretty warm pretty much till october november oh, we'll have a few cold nights but i think we'll have a chance to have some fall cucumbers i might be eating those words or i'm not eating words i'm eating cucumbers <laughs> So we'll try and see what happens. All right, let's hook up the disc to the tractor. Let's get on it. Let's try to get some of this disc up here. Go check the pumpkins, get those disc up. And uh, that'll probably be calling it a night because it's already getting a little dark. We had an overcasted cloud while I thought it was going to rain, but it didn't. So I was real pleased with that. So uh, we're going to try to do what we can, get things done, listening to my headphones, and having a good afternoon. See, I didn't actually disc into the ground. What I did was basically a chop and drop with the, the tractor. Kept it high, and you see it just basically laid it all down. So now, even though it's got some grass in it, we're gonna go and put a silage tarp on it over the next day or so. Uh, you see the sun is setting, so I don't know how much I'll get done today, but I wanted to go ahead and get this done. I had a few more zucchini. Uh, if you see on old Bessie's steps over there, I had to pick huge zucchini. So that kind of finishes those out. We're gonna go and disc that little spot up. And then basically we're going to tarp all this here. And then another day, I can't do it today, but I'm going to go and take the trellises down where the beans and tomatoes are and go ahead and get that ready for fall planting as well. Actually, we may even let that rest uh, all year and plant corn there next year. Uh, but that would give it time to rest all fall. and put. The, I might even plant some cover crop like some red clover uh, or uh, rye grass there. But we're going to go and finish this up right here and then we'll go over the pumpkin patch real quick.
you know, sometimes when it's stressful, it's just nice to come out here and it's uh, the sun is setting. Uh, I'm just gonna work on the pumpkin patch, but uh, just sit by the lake, see the fish jump. It's just nice. Um, I have a very stressful job and, and Missy stays stressed too, of course, with all the things we do with the homestead and of course our normal job. But um, sometimes it's just nice to come out by the lake. It's beautiful. Uh, I don't get to fish as much, but sometimes just coming out here sitting is just about as, as good as fishing. Um, we do have two alligator in here, so that probably would be refreshing or relaxing if one came after us. But anyways, uh, it's something about it's just peaceful. All right, let's make our way to the to the uh, pumpkins. All right, it is sunset for sure. We're going to try to show you these pumpkins. Hopefully, it won't be too dark on camera, but I don't know if you can see the rows here, but they're really starting to come up uh, all the way down. Um, thicker on this side because I think this gets the best moisture. Let's see if I can show them to you. See all the way down that row. Doing really well. Very pleased with them. Um, there's still some that's still trying to come up uh, smaller um, Here's down this row if you can see down this side here. It's not coming up as well There's little sproutlets, but not a lot coming up yet, but all the way down here. It's doing really well same over here on this row uh, Not as heavy on front, but definitely more towards the back back here um, down here if you remember this was actually the the organic um, <laughs> the organic seed that we bought from a co-op and it's actually not even growing um, some of them are very very faintly uh, but all the old seed from last year that we personally kept for seed uh, most of it's doing really well so uh, got that part done everything's finished on this side if you can see finished product you can see I just basically this between the rows here to get some of the grass out I'm really impressed with this row, and this is going to be my favorite. This is the, uh, I don't know the proper name, but this is where the white Cinderella's are. Uh, also, some of the green, light green Cinderella pumpkins are. So, we're excited that this row is doing really well. So, it's been a long day. Got a lot done. Uh, if you notice, I want to show you two things that I think my next two projects will be. Uh, Mike Pratt, I don't know if Pratt Family Homestead's watching this, but he inspired me. Um, I I've never saw a need for to do my own hay um, just because when you think about the expense of uh, a tractor big enough to pull a, a hay baler um, you know and basically all the attachments you got to have for the, uh, the you know the mower and then also the rake and then of course the hay um, baler you know that's a lot of money spent plus I don't have a tractor big enough to pull all that so I have two spots of grass here this big this monster overgrowth of just randomness. I was going to plant something there next year, um, but I'm really rethinking. Um, I went to Mike Pratt's at, at a, and Mike and Jenny, excuse me, a Pratt's Family Homestead in Michigan, and you know he all he has is a sycamore. He cuts it and he rakes his own hay by hand. Uh, now his kids and his wife might hate that because <laughs> they probably help him, but it kind of inspired me. I have. I don't know if I've ever showed you this part of our field. There is a. A church sits over here, but we own a portion of the field that connects us. Look how pretty that sunset is right there. Beautiful. But basically, this field, all this right here, this overgrowth, uh, I was actually going to make paddocks out of it for the cows. But to be honest with you, my paddocks by the house are doing so well. Um, and don't get me wrong, my house is on this property too, but it's done so well. So, all this here, and it's just old brush grass now, I mean, old Bahia heads. You know, we don't have that good quality Timothy and Alfalfa, but Bahia and 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 um, basically it, it's really junk stuff. So I'm gonna come in here. I think I'm gonna come in here and bush hog it um, and and lime it really well uh, and maybe reseed some of the the bad spots. And I think I'm gonna buy a sickle mower and just cut it and rake my own hay. I don't use a lot of hay here. Um, you know, with uh, well, I say that. I, I say I don't use a lot of hay. I, I have the five cows here, and then the uh, between the other farm about another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six or seven cows there too. So for those amount of cow, you know, I might need you know ten round bells typically. Well, that's in my area that'd be four to five hundred dollars. So you know, 
why not try why not try and see if we could do that so so mike you inspired me i'm gonna really try this and see if i can do it uh, i got to get some of the old weed down so i gonna have to bush hog one more time those kind of tough areas um look how pretty that sunset is back there it's way prettier than me so we're gonna call it a night it's been a long day misty you saw worked in the greenhouse got some things done we need just need to get some man some kind of just things done maintenance done just since we've been away for about a week um you know i don't know if you own a homestead or you own a farm you know every day you're not there there's one extra day you got to work or a lot more hours the next day when you get there so i uh, love going on the trip but ultimately love being back home and working on our farm and uh been a long day but good and I, and I think what we're going to do is uh, keep working on this pumpkin patch hopefully next to it I'm going to grow a strawberry patch next spring and I think I'm going to do my own hay so I think I'm going to call it a night I think Misty's probably got me a cup of coffee waiting on me because she's awesome like that and I'm going to call it a night and we're going to head on in the house and, and spend time with the kids happy homesteading y'all